So Black Ops 6 is still four months away, yet we have already got some news on the potential Warzone maps that we could be seeing within Black Ops 6. But quickly before we get into it, guys, if you aren't around, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications to not miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up and leave me your thoughts on this stuff in the comments below. But let's jump straight into it right now. Okay, guys, so we're going to start over on Bob Network UK's Twitter. He is a leaker of Call of Duty news, and he is almost pretty much spot on majority of the time. He never really gets it too far out. And as you can see, the first tweet we're taking a look at is exclusive. The dance will be delayed from Season 1 of Black Ops 6 to sometime during mid-life cycle of Black Ops 6. So already, off the rip, Verdansk is coming back. Verdansk will be back in Warzone at some point in Black Ops 6, which is crazy, crazy news. Urzikstan will receive gameplay updates slash map updates and ranked play with Season 1 to compensate for this delay. So straight away, Bobby's saying that Verdansk was meant to be coming in Season 1 of Black Ops 6 Warzone, which is crazy. We haven't really heard much about Verdansk actually returning. So for them to have actually been planning on releasing this on Day 1 in Season 1 of Black Ops 6 is kind of mental and he has confirmed they are actually delaying it till the mid life cycle of Black Ops 6 but as we can see there is a follow up here from Modern Warzone saying before people start to run with this I'm just commenting to clarify that it was never confirmed for Devadance to be coming back at all much less a time for it to release this was a leaks thing and in gaming industry things are fluid and change a lot just managing expectations so Verdansk still might not be coming back apparently it is rumored to still be a leak nothing has been confirmed but apparently according to Bob there he's saying that it was meant to come out in season 1 of Black Ops 6 and is now being delayed until the mid life cycle of Black Ops 6 so even just off of that we could expect Verdansk to return in Black Ops 6 during the game time at some point within the game we don't know when as we said it's apparently it's been delayed we don't know if it's meant to be coming out in season 1 originally we don't know if it's definitely coming back. But going off a lot of the leaks that I've been seeing recently, Verdansk is due to come back. We just don't know when. As you can see here, it does say in the midlife cycle. But we'll just have to see and wait to see when that actually does come out. So there was also a lot of rumours about this map called Avalon coming as the Warzone map within Black Ops 6. Whether it was going to be a resurgence map or a full size map, we were not sure. So this was what was rumoured to be the map of Warzone in Black Ops 6. Avalon, it looks kind of Black Ops 6 vibes. It's got that sort of Black Ops map feel to it. But saying that, we've now just found out that Verdansk is going to be coming back. Urzikstan's going to be the big map. So this wouldn't make sense to be the big map. However, there is now news coming out from Bob again. Exclusive Treyarch is developing their own resurgence map for Warzone that will drop some point during Black Ops 6 lifecycle. It will be called Area 99. Should have more information about it in the future. And this is the map image that Bob actually posted with it. So this is potential to be an area within that map. We are not sure. Or he's just posted an image to make it look more visually pleasing. But then what does this mean for the Avalon map? We really do not know. This has potential to still be the Warzone map. It still could be a map that we get in Warzone on day one of Black Ops coming out and that integration happening. Because I believe the Warzone integration is happening within season one of Black Ops 6. So hopefully when that integrates, we do actually see this Avalon map come in at some point. Whether again that's the big map or Resurgence map, we are not too sure. We will just have to see how this does play out and what sort of map we do get for it. But it wouldn't make sense for it to be the Resurgence map if they've now confirmed they're working on a Resurgence map. So this should be a big map in theory, and it might just play alongside Urzikstan. But you're still going to have Urzikstan be in your ranked play game mode. That's still going to be the normal map that everybody knows from this Warzone. And it's just going to continue to receive updates along with this map being out. So like I mentioned, I'm not too sure how this is going to play. And if anyone has got any more information that I've missed, do let me know in the comments. Because not only is it going to help me out, but it's also going to help the people watching this video understand where Avalon could be coming in as well. So make sure you leave it in the comments if you know where this is going to be coming in. Again, like I said, where it's a big map. That was going to be a resurgence map. I can imagine it being a big map alongside Urzikstan at some point. But then we can get this backed up about it not being a big map or a resurgence map from Charlie Intel. Again, another big Call of Duty news page, Charlie Intel, breaking. There will be no new big map for Warzone this year. Verdansk is now releasing in early 2025 as per a report from Bob Network, which we just went over. We have also heard similar. Urzikstan will get new updates later this year. So that Avalon map that everyone was talking about before just may not be coming into the game. It just might not be coming into the game at all, or it might be coming in at the very end of the game. We just do not know. There's not been a lot of news on it. And just going off of a lot of this stuff that we're seeing with them creating their own resurgence map and Verdansk coming back as being the new big map at some point in early 2025 or without throughout the Black Ops 6 game cycle, we just don't know, okay? I'm going to assume that Avalon isn't going to feature at any point and I'm going to assume that these are what we're going to get. We're going to get a resurgence map from Treyarch at some point and then Verdansk is going to come back to be the new big map. And as, even as we look here, there's been a reply saying, this isn't confirmed, this is a leak. While possibly true, you need to fix your headline. This is based off a rumor slash leak, and you're stating it as a fact. Charlie Intel then replied to that, multiple sources I've spoken to have confirmed this information to us. 
And Charlie Intel, a page of their size, they are going to have a lot of sources, going to give them a lot of information, a lot of accurate information. So they're going to be hearing it from a lot of well-represented people that are going to, you know, give them the right sort of information. Okay, guys, so as I was actually editing this video, Modern Warzone literally just tweeted saying Verdansk was never intended to return to Warzone. The decision to bring back Verdansk was made after seeing the success of Fortnite OG in 2023. As we all know, in Fortnite, they bought back the very OG map, the first map that was in Fortnite, and everyone loved it. It brought so many players back to the game. The player count went through the roof, and this is obviously why they wanted to bring Verdansk back, according to a new report from Insider Gaming. The originally planned Warzone map for 2024, Avalon, will release in fall of 2025 so there you go if you was wondering if we're going to get the new avalon map we are going to be getting it it is going to be releasing into the game but not until fall of 2025 probably around the time that we start getting a lot of news and you know we start seeing the actual release of the next game which i'm assuming will be something to do with black ops 7 or something along those lines if we go from modern warfare 2 to modern warfare 3 this year i'm assuming we're gonna go from like black ops 6 to black ops 7 or something along those lines and i can imagine that is when we're going to see the release of the avalon map it will be around the time of that black ops 7 release at the same time so that could be potentially what happens we get the brand new game after black ops 6 we get the brand new game if they decide to bring one out or they just keep black ops 6 as a two-year cycle but whatever happens within between those two years where there would be a new game so this is probably when we will see the release of avalon coming into the game at some point around that time so I reckon, guys, what is going to be happening is, like I said, we're going to get that Resurgence map at some point throughout the game cycle. We're probably just going to see Rebirth carry over. We're going to see Vondal carry over and some of the other Resurgence maps just carry over, as well as Urzakstan continues to be the big map for a little while within Warzone. There's going to be no new maps at the very start of Black Ops 6 coming out. So if you was hoping when that Black Ops 6 integration happens, we do get a new map. You're not going to be getting that, unfortunately. It's just not going to be the case unless they throw a curveball at us at some point and maybe add that Avalon map at the very beginning of the game. I just don't see it happening, though, because as we've just read from multiple different sources, there is no new big map coming to Warzone at any point, apart from Verdansk coming back within the game cycle at some point. That could be early 2025. It could be very mid-game of Black Ops 6 being out. We're not too sure. And then, like we said, for Resurgence, we are getting a new Resurgence map at some point throughout the game cycle. Again, could to release at a similar time of Verdansk. And that's going to be a map that Treyarch is working on, a brand new Resurgence map that we have not yet seen. So I know it's all a little bit up in the air. There is a lot of rumors and leaks going around, which are sort of being backed up by some of the bigger sources in the industry. But like I said, nothing is really confirmed. Nothing is definitely set in stone of how it's going to release, when it's going to be, what maps we're definitely getting. But as of so far, going off all the leaks, the rumors and the news that we've been getting, it looks like Verdansk is going to be returning and we are getting a new Resurgence map from Treyarch. And they are going to be the only new maps coming to Black Ops 6 Warzone at any point throughout the game cycle. I would love to hear all of your guys' thoughts on stuff in the comments as well, guys. Like, do you think this is good? Are you excited for the maps coming back? Are you excited for the return of a dance? Are you looking forward to a new Resurgence map? Are you kind of hoping there was going to be something at launch? Or if you hope there's going to be another map at some point throughout the game cycle? I'd love to hear it all in the comments below. And like I said before, if I have missed out on anything and there's any information you guys think I've missed out on that's kind of important to what we've been talking about, do leave it in the comments below. Because like I said, not only is it going to inform me, but it's also going to inform the rest of the people that are watching this video and checking out the comment section as well. So make sure you do leave it if you think i have missed anything but hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video if you have please be sure to smash a big thumbs up as it helps me out way more than you can ever imagine it helps get the video pushed out a little bit more to some more people like i said let me know your thoughts in the comments below subscribe with notifications turn on if you haven't already so don't miss any more videos on the channel i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i'll catch you on the next one in a bit Peace.